Gyms are filling up again as the world returns to a sense of normalcy. 7 News consumer anchor Diane Lee is joining us in studio with the details. Diane. Yeah, Amy and Taylor, we're running the gamma, gamut, I should say, of consumer stories. We're going to start with Tesla here. It's recalling more than 360,000 self-driving vehicles. The company says it's because the software can cause crashes. Now, federal investigators found that the full self-driving beta can send cars straight through intersections where there's only a turn lane. And it may also fail to stop at stop signs or blow through yellow lights. If you own one and do have concerns, contact your dealer. Tesla says it's working on a software update to fix the bugs. Millions of American households could be at risk of going hungry as the federal government phases out pandemic benefits in March. This could mean cuts of $82 a month for people receiving food assistance. Some experts who study food insecurities say if Congress doesn't expand benefits, the drop in aid will reverse the nation's progress towards ending hunger. All right, folks, AI is really picking up in popularity, but you don't want to mess with Microsoft's chatbot. Get this, the AI may insult you, or in some cases, even worse. The Associated Press says in one conversation, the AI threatened to expose a reporter for what it believed was false claims, and it then compared the reporter to Hitler, Stalin, and other dictators. More and more trial users are reporting the chatbot's hostile low blows. Microsoft quickly pushed out this technology to beat Google, and it now promises to work on toning it down. All right, now to those uh, gyms. Thousands of gyms across the country shut down during the pandemic, many of them for good, you all remember. But now fitness centers are making a comeback. And Michael George has a look. Joe Morello almost never misses a morning workout. When the pandemic began and gyms shut down, he, like many others, started to exercise at home. But it just wasn't the same. It gets stale. You start to realize that you're nowhere near where you were from a fitness perspective pre-pandemic. Gyms were among the hardest hit businesses during the pandemic. A quarter of fitness centers shut down completely. It was especially tough on smaller gyms, like the Body Blueprint in Pelham, New York. We've lost um, a good chunk of our business, about 80% of our people. General Manager Tommy Pomatico says now, finally, he's seeing gym members return and a surge of new customers. People are really understanding that without health, you don't really have anything, right? And so now people are prioritizing it. Foot traffic in gyms is up 40% compared to two years ago, according to retail tracking website Placer.ai. But it's still not quite back up to pre-pandemic levels. For Morello, there's something he gets here that he can't get working out at home. It's the community feel. Uh, to me, working out at home has its benefits, but it doesn't push you the way seeing someone else that's doing the same workout that might be pushing a little bit harder than you. It kind of drives you, it fuels you. And it's been just the fuel America's gyms needed to get back in shape. Michael George, CBS News, Pelham, New York. Industry groups say more than one and a half million fitness jobs were lost during the pandemic. Upstate landfills taking in thousands of tons of out of state trash and homeowners nearby are fed up. The Anderson Regional Landfill has an agreement with the county not to take in any out of state trash, but 7 News found a 2021 report showing it took in more than 66,000 tons. Somebody has to take the trash. I do understand that, but enough is enough for this community. And that's not the only county in the upstate with nearby homeowners who say they want to see some change. Tonight on 7 News at 11, how a little known stipulation has allowed landfills to hide the origin of trash and how one county was surprised to learn where the waste was really coming from. Catch my consumer exclusive investigation tonight on 7 News at 11. Taylor. Diane, thank you. Next on 7 News, the death of Tyree Nichols sparked outrage across the country. Now five former police officers charged with his murder are pleading not guilty.